Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his minions often accuse their political opponents of being anti-Semites. According to Netanyahu and co, everyone from the Palestinian president, to people who boycott Israel, to British Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn, to Israeli-American actress Natalie Portman. Yeah, Queen Amidala. They're all anti-Semites, apparently. But here's what's so weird and so hypocritical. Netanyahu himself has no qualms surrounding himself with actual card-carrying anti-Semites, some of the world's worst purveyors of anti-Jewish conspiracies. See, he's fine with them as long as they support him and or Israel's occupation. Let's start with the European far right. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban has heaped praise on Hungary's government during World War II, which collaborated with the Nazis and sent hundreds of thousands of Hungarian Jews to their deaths in concentration camps. Orban also likes to blame all of Hungary's current problems on evil Jewish capitalist puppeteer George Soros. George Soros is a speculator operating an extensive mafia network endangering the security and future of Europe, said the Prime Minister. Netanyahu not only slapped down Israel's ambassador to Hungary for criticizing Orban's anti-Semitic rhetoric, but he and his government then engaged in the same horrific rhetoric. In July, Netanyahu hosted his new BFF, the Prime Minister of Hungary, in Jerusalem. Thank you, Prime Minister, for uh, standing up for Israel in international forums. You've done that time and again. <sighs> Then there's the Polish government, which wants to rewrite history and criminalize anyone who dares to point out that the Poles were complicit in the Holocaust. Get this, Netanyahu signed a joint statement with the Polish Prime Minister agreeing that Poland during World War II helped Jews escape the Nazis, which of course is complete BS, as even Israel's own top Holocaust historians have pointed out. The Yad Vashem Holocaust Memorial Center lashed out at the declaration, essentially blaming Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for selling out Holocaust memory. Wow. Now that is a strong condemnation. Let's turn to the United States. USA! 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 Remember, President Trump, who once kept a book of Hitler speeches next to his bed and is a hero to white supremacists, has shared anti-Semitic imagery on Twitter and praised neo-Nazis in Charlottesville. You had some very bad people in that group, but you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. And yet, last year, Netanyahu gave Trump a big get-out-of-jail-free card on the issue of anti-Semitism. There is no greater supporter of the Jewish people and the Jewish state than President Donald Trump. I think we should put that to rest. Donald Trump is the greatest supporter of the Jewish people. Seriously. If you believe that, I have a Trump Tower to sell you. But look, Trump helped Netanyahu out by then moving the US Embassy to Jerusalem. And who did the Israeli Prime Minister share a platform with at the opening ceremony of that new embassy? US Pastor Robert Jeffress, who says Judaism leads people away from God and that you can't be saved being a Jew. And US Pastor John Hagee, who claimed in his book that Hitler was a, quote, half-breed Jew who was sent by God as, quote, a hunter. But of course, Hagee and Jeffress are strong evangelical supporters of Israel and its occupation. So Netanyahu is fine with their anti-Semitism. But let's look closer to home. In fact, let's look inside Netanyahu's own home. Last year, his son, Yeah, posted a meme to his Facebook page depicting good old George Soros, yes, him again, with the most vile and notorious of anti-Semitic imagery. Yet daddy Netanyahu said nothing. Then again, the Israeli prime minister himself has in the past defended Adolf Hitler, I kid you not. According to Netanyahu, poor old Hitler never wanted to kill the Jews until that is he met the Palestinian Grand Mufti who put that horrible idea in his innocent head. Hitler didn't want to uh, exterminate the Jews at the time, he wanted to expel the Jews. And Khaj Amin al Husseini went to Hitler and said, if you expel them, they'll all come here. So what should I do with them, he asked. He said, burn them. It's a historical nonsense, of course. And again, Israel's top historians of the Holocaust have condemned the Israeli leader for those ludicrous remarks. To recap then, Benjamin Netanyahu, prime minister of the world's only self-declared Jewish state, pals around with anti-Semitic leaders and preachers, doesn't say a word about anti-Semitism from his own son, and makes excuses for Adolf Hitler. Meanwhile, anti-Jewish hatred and demonization, anti-Semitism, which is a scourge and a disease, is on the rise again across parts of the West. We all have to fight back against it. 
But sorry, Netanyahu is not someone who has a leg to stand on when it comes to condemning it or trying to tackle it. Because he's okay with anti-Semites, as long as they support the illegal occupation of Palestinian lands. The Prime Minister of Israel, therefore, isn't part of the solution when it comes to anti-Semitism. He's part of the problem. Thank <laughs> you.